Hey everyone, it's uh, the Vigilant Christian Mario here for another edition of New World Order Exposed and New Age Movement Exposed. This video is going to find itself in both video series, and that's because in this one specifically, I'm going to show you how uh, things and beliefs, um, specifically 2012, Ascension, and Transformation of Consciousness, and the Age of Aquarius in the New Age Movement, um, are being promoted by the elites themselves and are necessary to be promoted um, for the establishment of the New World Order. Okay, so this video today, I'm going to help you uh, connect the dots, essentially. Now, if you're unfamiliar with me, I just want to let you know that I'm speaking on this issue from a position of experience. I myself was a believer in 2012. Uh, I spent seven or eight years in the New Age movement. I even uh, was so into 2012 and the shift in consciousness that I dedicated my life uh, to it. And uh, for five, six years, that's all I did was study uh, how to transform consciousness and how that is going to bring about this new change. Um, so I'm speaking to you today from someone who knows what I'm talking about, um, and I need to warn you because I was deceived by these things, and it's the elite, the um, powerful groups that are trying to enslave us. These are the lies that they're uh, permeating in culture, and because I was a victim, I need to come uh, and let you know not to become a victim yourself. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first thing is, what is... 2012, the 2012 ascension, the shift in consciousness in the age of Aquarius. Well, basically what it states is that uh, humanity is, is, is going through an evolutionary process, that we're going from uh, the lower self into the higher self, okay, into God realization until the knowing that everything is God, okay? Um, and what they believe is that by doing this, we're going to enhance our, our individual uh, vibrations, that every human being is energy, and that by doing so, we're going to bring up our, our, our energy, okay? And that if we do this collectively, the world would change, that a collective change in consciousness would actually create um, a new earth, okay? And that's essentially what the doctrine teaches, um, is that there's a new system coming, and you need to see how that ties into their agenda. You see, the Illuminati, the elite, want us to believe that there's a new age coming. They want us to believe that there's a new system coming. So here you see this belief uh, that is... Uh, about a change, a shift that is a, supposed to occur about this time. Although it's supposed to be a positive one, um, you know, there is a shift that's supposed to occur. Now, is it really a positive one? Well, that's, that's, that's the thing. It's not, okay? They'll make you think that, but that it's not at all. Um, so, another element that's very important to notice is um, a lot of teachers and people that bring are talking about the shift in consciousness and transformation, um, they're in communication with spiritual beings, okay? Whether they're uh, from the Pallades, David Icke communicates with the guys, and um, all these teachers have spiritual beings, okay? So, it's believed that these are spiritual beings that are in a other dimension that are assisting humanity in this evolutionary process, okay? That's what's taught. Now, I believed this for a long time, and I communicated with over 30 of these spiritual beings who, you know, would, would guide me through the God realization into satanic occult knowledge, okay? Um, and uh, it wasn't until later that I realized and questioned if these spiritual beings were telling me the truth, if they truly were angels of light um, as they presented themselves. And I found out later that they were, uh, that demons can actually masquerade themselves as angels of light, okay? So that's what we have. We have demons that are communicating with people to bring about the satanic New World Order, Luciferian system, okay? And it, it's going to look all light and wonderful and peaceful, okay? They're not going to impose this system all hardcore because there's no way we're going to accept it. They're going to deceive us into accepting it. So it's going to look appealing. It's going to look desirable, okay? So that's what this is. It's to make the New World Order look desirable. Look, we'll all come together in unity. There won't be any religions. We'll have one global system. It'll be peace for humanity. They're going to present it in that light, but that's not actually what it's, it's going to be. Um, it's going to be much worse than that. Um, so... Now, in regards to all the science, a lot of people are getting caught, caught up with this pseudoscience that's presented when, they, when this, uh, this theory is presented. I'm going to leave you a link to uh, Chris White's 2012 debunked. He's going to go through um, all the uh, different theories, like the spatial alignments, and just showing you scientifically this isn't true, okay? So a lot of this is, is promoted in a way that it looks scientific, but it's not. It's just pseudoscience, okay? It's quacky science. It's not even real. All right, so don't be deceived. I was deceived for a long time by these type of individuals. Uh, so I'll leave the link so you can do the proper research and investigate that it's not true. There's actually no spatial alignment, and that doesn't cause a shift in energy, okay? This is a deception that's imposed by the elite to establish their new world order, okay? Um, 
The next thing that proves that it's part of the elite's agenda to externalize this to the public um, is in the movie 2012, okay? They release a public 2012 in which the elite um, are secretly, you know, hiding away while the, there's a big shift in the earth and they get to repopulate the new earth at the end, okay? So in the movie 2012, before its release, um, the makers of the movie, if you notice here, Find out the truth. Google search 2012. Okay, so Hollywood is owned by the Illuminati, obviously. It's owned by the powerful elite that are establishing this police state satanic system. Okay, so they're urging you to Google 2012. And why is that? Because they know if you Google 2012 on online, you're going to get nothing but transformation of consciousness, David Icke. You're going to get all this spiritual garbage, okay, that's just going to deceive you and it plays into their agenda. You see, they want you to know these things. You know, there's some people in, within this movement that believe that um, the elite have withheld this from the public and that's not true because they're, they're externalizing it to the public okay and here you have them they're giving us the knowledge that they have but it's actually not knowledge these these people who are the elite are the most deceived people on the face of the earth okay um, so don't don't desire their knowledge okay they're deceived and their knowledge is only going to deceive you okay so don't don't want anything to do with it but Going back to what I was saying, the reason that I'm showing you this is because the elite want to prepare us for 2012. Because like I said, it fits into their agenda. They need a new system right now. They need a new shift. So if they brainwash the whole public into desiring a shift in consciousness, a new earth, well then it's very easy for them to bring in their satanic occult, Luciferian new world order. Okay, that's how they're, they're, they're bringing this system about. All right, and the next thing is we need to become very careful, especially those within us, um, within the truth movement, okay? Um, there's people that are promoting this 2012 awakening theory concept within our movement, and our movement is a movement about truth, okay? And a lie shouldn't be found within that system, okay? And the 2012 awakening is a lie from the elite that is necessary for them to brainwash us so that we can, that we can accept their new system, okay? And I'm gonna prove that to you right here. Here you have David Icke, 2012, an awakening. He's been going around promoting so on the one hand, the guy exposes the New World Order, the elite's plan for their satanic system. And on the other hand, he goes around promoting 2012 and awakening, okay? You see how whether consciously or unconsciously, he is promoting the New World Order, whether he realizes it or not. He thinks he's fighting against it, okay? And what, if he knows what he's doing, then... then Whatever, he, he knows what he's doing, but he might actually not even, he might have no clue and actually think that the 2012 awakening is going to be the solution to the new world order when in fact it's being promoted by the elite who have deceived David Icke, okay? Because um, let's just get real, where does this shift in consciousness come from, okay? What is David Icke going out there talking about? Okay, he's talking about the awakening, the spiritual awakening, the shift in consciousness, the new age evolution into godhood. Okay, that's what he's promoting. Where does this come from? Where can we find other people that are promoting this? Well, on your screen you have Eckhart Tolle promoting a book, A New Earth, people. A New Earth, A New World Order. And where does he promote this? On Oprah. So Oprah, her, she had a whole series for like a week, okay, on a new earth. She might as well call it the New World Order religious training program in preparation of the Antichrist kingdom that is being established because she is a new ager that goes to Bilderberg meetings, okay? So here she is on her stage promoting the religion for the New World Order, which is the shift in consciousness which people like David Icke have been deceived into believing is the solution for the New World Order, when in fact it plays in perfectly with their agenda. Agenda, okay, it doesn't make sense. He's going around a shift in consciousness just like her. Do you like that? Doesn't make any sense as a truther, right there. I just stop and I go, Listen, you know, Oprah's been, been you know, supposedly on the Bilderberg list as an attendee, and it wouldn't surprise me, she's one of the most powerful people, and she's promoting a new earth. Okay, so why, Ike, are you doing the same thing? Because you're deceived by the elite, they've fooled you into being a pawn for them so that you can progress their new world order. And I don't know if it's your fault or not, but you're doing their work and you need to wake up, okay? The new shift in consciousness comes from the elite. It is crucial in the establishment of their kingdom. It doesn't, it, it, it will not be established any other way, all right? So now I want to focus on the Denver airport and again, how that ties into this, um, the, this plan for the, the establishment of the system. As you see here, 
Um, they're depicting a, 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 a mural uh, of violence, of war, okay? So the symbol for peace is, is, you know, being murdered by the sword. So it's obviously um, a mural that represents war, okay? So this is what they're going to do. They're going to impose a time of chaos on us. And what they're going to do is they're behind every single war, okay? And the next war that's about to pop off, they're going to be behind that one too. And this one, they're going to blame behind religion, okay? It's going to be the Christians who support Israel against the, the Muslims and that, and they're going to blame it on religion again, okay? So they're going to, to the public out there who are going to look and see this crazy war between Christians over Jerusalem and all this, they're going to go, no, we don't want any religion anymore. You guys are crazy. Look at all the wars that are caused for religion, okay? Um, so this is part of their agenda, so they're going to do this, and that's how they're going to get the public to turn on us, because they're going to go, look, look at all the chaos these crazy Christians are, are, are perpetuating in society with their beliefs. Look, they're killing over, over their beliefs, which in fact it's not. It's all going to be staged and engineered by the Illuminati. Um, but they're going to do it that way so they can then turn, have the public turn on us and kill us, as you see depicted in the mural. Okay? It's necessary for them to eliminate Christians. That's why this person is symbolized with her Bible in hand. Okay? So they need to eliminate the Christian belief system all right? um, so that they can bring in their new world order. And that's what the, mur the next mural shows you. Okay? So they're going to have a victory over the oppressor. Okay? They're going to be oppressed by the Illuminati. <laughs> and then they're gonna, the Illuminati is going to send in their Antichrist, okay, who's going to preach his new world religion. And he's going to go, no, we can't do this anymore. We all have to come together. Forget your religions. For, forget your, your nations. Let's all come together in one peaceful system. And let's eliminate the Christians because look at all the chaos. And they're just not evolved. They need to evolve, okay? Um, and then you're going to see what you see on the mural. Everyone coming together to the satanic Luciferian light. Okay? That light right there represents Satan and all the worlds coming together after the great war and time of tribulation that they're going to engineer and blame on religion. Okay, So that they can then it, it, it convince the whole world um, to kill Christians and eliminate them just like Jesus prophesied. All right. Um, and then they're going to do their, their, the great deception. The great deception, okay, is to create chaos in your mind to make you believe that there's a prison planet coming, okay, and then engineer a war and blame it on religion. Then what's going to happen, we're going to be in the most crazy times and we're going to be hurting, okay, we're going to be oppressed. There's not going to be food, there's going to be war everywhere. And we're going to cry out to them for, to be saved, okay, and they're going to bring up a leader uh, on the stage and he's going to say, we can come together. We can unify. I'm the reincarnation of Jesus and Buddha. We can all ascend. We can either keep creating the same problems and keep creating these wars, or we can ascend and evolve. And, and, and then the ones that don't do that, the Christians, then they need to be eliminated, okay? And that's why people in their writings, um, like uh, Barbara Marks Hubbard, even specifically talked about how the elimination of uh, the, the ones that can't accept the change needs to be brought about. And there's going to be a big uh, bloodbath in the uh, coming establishment of the new world system, okay? Because they need to eliminate Christians because they're satanic and they're establishing a satanic, luciferian, uh, occult new world order for their antichrist and his prophet, okay? Um, now, the shift in consciousness, <laughs> listen, okay? To become enlightened, you need to reach the final stage of enlightenment. What is the final stage of enlightenment? It's God realization. It's realizing that you are a God. What is the lie that the, the serpent told Eve in the garden? Ye shall be as gods. This is the same lie, okay? This transformation in consciousness, this supposed awareness and evolution in mind, in body and spirit, the final realization of that is that ye shall be as gods. That's dangerous, okay? That's satanic. Satanic Satan right now is sitting back just laughing because he's got tons of people um, awakening to I am a God. And that is satanic, okay? And that's why this is a satanic system with a satanic philosophy. They want you to realize, everyone needs, there needs to be a mass awakening of people that need to realize that they are gods for them to establish their new world order. Because if, if you have that belief system that you are a God, when the Antichrist uh, starts opening his mouth and talking, you're going to listen to him and you're going to think that he knows the truth and that he is the new God. Um, and you're going to be deceived by them, all right? Um, and you need to realize Satan can transform himself into an angel of light, okay? He can, he, he can masquerade himself as anything he desires, okay? So obviously he's coming and, and, and he's slithering his way into, people, uh, into people's belief systems and understandings about the New World Order, okay? So don't be so naive um, into uh, being deceived by him. 
So just recapping on today's video, 2012, um, it's an actual deception the elite are utilizing to bring in their new system. The elite are satanic. You need to come to that final realization and just accept it. Um, and then when you accept it, you're going to understand that it's, it's common sense. They're satanic, so they're promoting a satanic new age religion which teaches that you shall be a god and that you can ascend and that those who don't ascend, aka the Christians, need to be killed. Okay? Like you need to start seeing these things. It's just too obvious. You cannot be a truther and a new ager. You literally can't. You can't know the elite's plans. The elite are satanic and they're bringing in an occult new world order and at the same time promote the shift in consciousness. All right? I'm currently working on my David Icke um, exposed uh, video. I'm just going to show you, it, it doesn't make sense. The guy is actually playing into the agenda of the elite by promoting the shift in consciousness, which is necessary for the establishment of the new world order. All right, Jesus is the answer. I've said it before, he's the solution. If you haven't seen my video, the only way to defeat the Illuminati, check that out. Um, Christ is the only way. It's not shifting consciousness, it's not sitting here getting guns, and it's not sitting here and getting so much information about why the towers fell and why Building 7, as if that information is going to cause a, a change in reality. It's not. Okay? Um, so the only way is Christ. There's, it's the only logical conclusion to, to what's going on right now. Um, so this is the Vigilance Christian saying, God bless in each and every one of you. Uh, don't become victim to lies and deceptions from this movement. Um, and repent and believe. And God bless each and every one of you.